project title Early Detection of Cat Diseases System Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, my name is Yasmin Surai binti Arifin from class CS2593B I am Nurul Najwa binti Nordin Hi, I am Nur Sarah Arifan binti Mazlan and I am from CS2593 This is our table of contents Introduction of the system Nowadays, pet owners are now so enthusiastic to work out the behavior of their pet and owners also often use smartphone to access various articles on the web to acknowledge the character, behavior and symptom of the disease. However, some articles may not reliable, actual and true for the health of their pets. Animal owners need an honest source and useful media to determine their pet's condition. Thus, we develop an app that focus on an animal which is a cat. It will allow users to seek out ways to stop and perform first action of their beloved cat when strange symptoms are seen in cats by their illness. Additionally, as providing tips and tricks. Therefore, our system application can help the owner in doing the correct action supporting the illness suffered of useful and actual information for his or her cat. However, it is important to note that the analysis made and advice given by our system are intended to give first aid to cat owners and also information purposes. As we all know, cats are a soft and adorable animal that want constant attention from their owner. However, they are vulnerable to be infected by any disease and what is worse is that most cat owners did not take their pet help as seriously which could result in worsening heart condition. Especially during this pandemic, we believe most people and cat owners to be specific and afraid to go out. When we look into this matter, other than being afraid of going out, many pet owners may not have the time to bring their pet to the clinic or some of them are hesitant because of the cost. Therefore, this system will help them to have an early detection of any disease that their cat might have. Hence, they can perform first aid on their cat. The problem type is diagnosis. Inferring cat disease from its visible and invisible symptoms and behaviors. Through these signs shown by cats, the system will be able to tell the possible disease that the cat has and the system will suggest tips on how to handle the disease. Understanding a cat's condition is not an easy task for the owner. Since cats are type of an animal, it is a bit difficult to know if the cat is in an unhealthy condition but the cat's owner can observe their cat's behavior. Through their observation, the system can help them to detect whether the cat is in a good condition or not. Objectives The first one is to gather information regarding all types of cat diseases from an expert that is the vet to gain diagnostic knowledge on cat diseases and to provide information to cat owners about the diseases instead of taking time looking up related information about cat diseases on the books users can easily get advice or guidance from this system functions early detection of cat diseases is a system to help the owner of a cat trace whether the cat is in a healthy condition or not at an early stage if the cat's disease can be traced earlier it could help the cat's owner to get prepared with all upcoming situations for the cat. All the user needs to do is to answer all types of questions that we have provided. Firstly, the system can detect what kind of disease that the cat could possibly be affected by. Based on the knowledge that we gained, we will input a lot of information regarding the cat's behavior. If the user enters the related input, the system will display the cat's possible disease. Then, the system could develop suitable advice or a little tips for the cat and the cat's owner based on the input entered by the user. After the user inserts all of the needed data, the system will make a conclusion by giving out positive
possible disease that and it will also display the advice for the cat. Methodology Knowledge Acquisition For this expert system project, we mainly used the interview method for knowledge acquisition. We conducted the interview by using an unstructured interview, which means we did not prepare such a formal question for the expert. As for our project, we did not focus on one topic at one time. We asked general questions that lead to another indirect question. We prepared questions for the expert on the type of disease by using the disease. We asked the doctor to give us detail about the symptoms along the solution that the owner can do to prevent their cat's condition from being worse. Since it's unstructured interview, there are discussions along the expert along with the expert. There are a lot of indirect questions based on the general question that we have prepared. For example, rabies is, is a disease that could really happen to, for the cats and this information is not stated in article that we have studied. Since we asked this question about rabies, the doctor added that rabies is not a common disease for cats. Then, we transcribed the interview to a table consisting of the cat disease symptoms and advice that could prevent the cat's condition from worsening. Next representation, we are using semantic network. It divided into seven cat body parts with R, which are mouth, ear, blood, respiratory, eyes, skin, and stomach. This is our knowledge representation which is semantic network diagram. They have seven body parts and some disease which is fever, diabetes, ringworm, diarrhea, anemia, otitis, feline respiratory disease, corneal ulcer, stomatitis, and glaucoma. Inference technique. Although the system problem type is diagnosis, the inference technique that is suitable to be used is forward chaining in order to diagnose the cat disease. The knowledge base of the system comprises a number of antecedent consequent rules that will help the system to recognize numerous causes of cat disease. Therefore, the system will ask the user for any possible symptoms of their cat to gather information and then analyze it to come up with the type of cat disease that may have. Next, the third phase, system construction and development. Design and interface design. The tools that we use for developing the expert system is visceral. Here is the whole system captured from the visceral. Here is the example of codes that are generated by visceral. Next, here is the interface design. This is the home page. Next, the interface for user when they need their cat's help information. There will be questions and every question has choices that make it easier for the user to use. Once the user has finished answering the questions, the user will see the result like this. Next, let's get to the knowledge base, rules. For this system, we managed to find 33 rules. And here is some of the rules based on the disease. As for example, for asthma disease, there will be three rules that are used to find conclusion. Another example is conjunctivities. There will be two rules that are used to find the conclusion. Next, working memories and inference engine. There are two strategies that can be used in working memory which are forward chaining method and backward chaining method. For our system, we will be using forward chaining method. So how does it work? Firstly, the control cycle will start by finding a match in the facts that are available in the working memory. If the rule and fact match, 
it will apply the rule and a new fact added to working memory or new rule will be added. Here is an example of the working memories and inference engine works in VC rule. Lastly, for the third phase, which is explanation facility, there are two components of explanation facility which are why and how. For example, for the first question that will be asked for the user, select body part. For each body part, there will be explanation about it. Firstly, the system will make a short briefing of the cat symptom if they are ill. Then, every body part has their own explanation that will help the user understand better on which body part should they choose to check on their cat's diseases. For example, the user choose I on the previous question, so each of the following questions have their own explanation too. Result and testing. Inference gene. The inference method that is suitable used to come out with diagnostic results in the system is forward chaining. The system will ask users to select a list of symptoms that may be related to the body part of the cat. Then the input will be matched with the available rules in the knowledge base. For example, in a situation where the user notices her pet cat has a wound in the eye area and eye discharge, the cat had also experienced traumatic injury, the cat has been rubbing the affected eye for a couple of days, and the user believes her cat has had a road trauma accident. From the symptoms that the user notice, we will list them into facts. Next, find rules that can be fired from the knowledge base. Then we will get to the conclusion. And the conclusion is that the cat may have corneal ulcer. And the advice is that the cat has to wear a collar and have a follow-up to the clinic. Corneal abrasions generally heal within 3 to 5 days. Medication is used to prevent bacterial infections and to relieve pain. We have also prepared example for backward chaining. Backward chaining is goal driven which means it will start with a goal and move backwards. Chaining through the rules to look for known facts that would support the goal. In this example, the goal is cat is not allowed to share plates with other cats. Here are the rules involved in the step. Firstly, form a stack containing goals that we want to prove and once all stacks are proved, process stop. Next, find all rules which can derive the current goal. For each rule, if all premises of the rule are satisfied, then the rule is applied. Outcome of the system. The system will help cat owners to have an early idea on what type of disease their cat may be having, to provide tips on how to handle the cat before cat's health worsening and if cat shows severe symptoms, they will have to immediately seek professional help. But in order for the system to come for a conclusion, the user will have to select which body part of the cat that they think is affected and choose yes or no for the list of symptoms shown. This figure shows the questions on which body part the cat may show symptoms of. This is for easier disease detection. All these questions of symptoms are asked only to related disease of certain body part. The process will stop and a conclusion will appear. Usability of the system. Learnability. The interface of the system is easy to be recognized and familiar with even if it is the user's first time using it and they will be able to fully utilize all of the system's features and capabilities. The design is simple and understandable to navigate within the page and questions appear with informative explanations that will act as a guidance to users when checking the symptoms their cat exhibits. Memorability The system has a memorability aspect as users will still be able to remember how to use it in the future even though they do not visit the page for some time. And lastly, errors. Um, the writings are readable on the web page, which means this system has minimized the aspects of errors. Thank you. Now let's move on to the live demonstration.